in this video, we're going to unbox this and install it. This is the Sony XAVAX1000. Bought it off Amazon, got it imported into Kenya for the sole reason that I wanted to upgrade the radio in my Nissan Patrol to something that could handle CarPlay. And this certainly fitted the bill. And so as you unbox this, you've got a fascia and the destructions, and then uh, below it, you can see the main device itself. Comes with a cable loom. I'm not quite sure what car that that will fit into, uh, but I was fortunate enough that I already had a Sony radio and was able to use that wiring. Gives you the bits and pieces need to pop the radio out of the casing, although I didn't use that. It also had a microphone as well. Obviously, with CarPlay, you can make calls through the radio and having a microphone included was incredibly helpful. So this is a sort of double tier radio and um, you can see that it has a nice largest touchscreen that goes on the front and the back you've got also a lot of I.O. I must admit I did think or thought rather it had a USB port on the back and it doesn't which um, disappointed me somewhat and I'll demonstrate to you why later. So lots of IO on the back and you can see that wiring loom that you are given plugs in like this. Well let's get out to the car you can see that's roughly how I want it to have a look the old Sony radio there and um, of course you don't need too many tools to do this I've got my trusty multi-tool out there and a couple of other bits and pieces uh, my Nissan Patrol dashboard came apart pretty easily and I was really really pleased that when I took this apart I noticed that the wiring socket was the same as the radio in there so I must admit I took a little bit bit of a gamble and as you see later on I plugged the existing wiring loom in and the radio powered up. Now I used the brackets that came with the car and I screwed the radio directly into those brackets. So it should make it quite difficult for anybody to, to, to get that radio out. Now this is what I said. Uh, I took a little bit of a gamble here and plugged the radio into the existing wiring loom. I must admit, as I turned the key, I did think to myself, I wonder if the wiring is different. How is this going to turn out? But to my surprise, it powered up but I will stress only do that on your own risk here's the microphone I managed to chase it in around the trim of the vehicle went underneath the dash into the radio and as you can see here it is installed and powering on for the first time now you can see I've had to run a USB extension cable into the front USB and I was a bit disappointed because in my mind I did think there was also a USB on the back now a car radio wouldn't be a car radio without the radio function. But let's be honest, the reason why I bought this is to get Apple CarPlay into the car. So I plugged my iPhone in and after a few little hints on how to use Apple CarPlay, you can see that it, it, it boots into the Apple CarPlay with mapping and uh, radio and um, all sorts of different musical applications that you can use for your entertainment. And I'll predominantly be using this for that. It actually makes pretty good phone calls as well. I, I phoned my wife and my daughter picked up and this is what it sounded like. Hello. Hello. Hi, Charlotte. How are you? Good. How are you? Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Ah, cool. I'm talking to you on the car. What? I know. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. See you later. Also make calls using WhatsApp and Telegram as well. Now by pressing the volume button, Siri comes alive as well as voice activation. Hey Siri. Play classical music.
because this patrol had a more premium interior the speakers were pretty good and i could get some real volume out of this vehicle the great thing about carplay is you can use google maps or apple maps there's also a variety of other applications as well like tune in radio and this is great for those who enjoy listening to podcasts as well as listening to live radio stations using data now, one thing I did notice about the touchscreen is that sometimes I had to press things twice to get it to operate. And you can see here, this is a very good example, that I had to press twice to get to this podcast. Hello, this is the Global News Podcast. World Service, with reports and analysis from across the world. The latest news whole reason I purchased this was to get Apple CarPlay into the vehicle. I wanted something that would work with my iPhone and this Sony does not disappoint. Look, it's not the most premium product in the world, but for someone like me, it sounds great. I can play all of my media into it. The radio is pretty good as a standalone radio as well. Very configurable. And to be honest, for something like this, for around 200 50 pounds you can get this radio and upgrade an older vehicle like my own anyway thanks for watching really appreciate it please rate and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video